hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to display the images in a grid view control where the images are stored in the project folder and the image path in the SQL server database and here we got the output when page loads the image name and images are displaying in a grid view control In my previous video, I have shown how to upload the images into a images folder and the image path is stored in the SQL server table. Now in this video, I will show you how to display records in a grid view control. Before writing the code, let's check the output how it looks on the Google Chrome. And this is the output of that code. Now my aim is in this tutorial. I want to display the images here on the grid view control, the image name and the image. Before write the code in ASP.NET, let's check my database table and the image folder. And right now in this images folder, there are three images. And we'll check the database also. The table name is the image save which contains three columns image id image name and image path right now in this table contains eight records let's switch back to the visual studio asp.net and stop debugging now the first thing i'm doing i'm creating a center tag copy this one paste here horizontal line now here in this source page I am adding a grid view control go to toolbox under data here is a grid view control is added the first thing I am adding auto generate columns is equals to false columns now in the columns I'm adding one for the image name and the second one for the image so I here I'm adding one bound field header text is equals to image name and the data field here in the data field I'm adding my the column name in the table the column name is the image name let's copy this one paste here and the second column for the image so I'm using image field header text image data image URL field is equals to the data image URL field I'm adding the image path name so the second column is the image path copy this one test here now I want to set the image height and width control style height is equals to 120 control style width is equals to 140 here after horizontal line I am adding the header display images in the source page we have just added the grid view control with the two columns one for the image name and the second image field for the image now let's go to the code behind what I'm doing I'm just copying up to here I'm pasting here about how to set up the connection string in SQL server I have already told in my previous video if you missed that one after end of this video tutorial you'll get a link of that video so let's continue what we are doing right now 
Now in the select query, I'm changing instead of insert, select start from the table name dbo dot image save, and I'm deleting this one. SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter and this SQL data adapter takes the SQL command object data table new data table SDA dot fill method I'm filling the SDA with DT data table in the last I am adding the grid view control dot data source is equals to DT grid view one dot data bind is a method I am closing the connection string close method that's it now let's check the results on a Google Chrome browser when the page loads the image name and the images are displaying or not in a grid view control. Google Chrome. And here we got the output when page loads the image name and images are displaying in a grid view control. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video, and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.